Look at these two nosy little guys. Every time mommy has to do something, they have to investigate, right? Covert operation. Okay, you guys, so let's kick it off with a little OOTD. Yeah, I had to think about that for a second. So, <laughs> today is going to be just a really casual day. Um, I need to do a deep conditioner to my hair, and then I also want to do a facial mask. And last night I worked until midnight, but I didn't get home until 12.30. I didn't get in bed until... 1.30 and then I couldn't sleep so you know how that all works out. It's a vicious cycle. So anyway, I am in, remember that new robe that I bought instead of buying my hat? Well this is it. It's from Nordstrom Rack um, and I'm also wearing, wait let me take off my slippers so that you guys get the full effect. I'm also wearing my gray snowflake socks and I love them. They're so comfortable. They feel like cashmere, but I don't know if they are. And these are the slippers that I picked up from Lola Chutique. You know, um, I was wearing them around the house because I tend to do that with new shoes. Kind of like if I'm breaking something in, I guess you could say. And they were so comfortable. And they were perfect because I needed slippers that kept my feet warm, but didn't make them boil you know like sometimes when your toes are covered your feet get too hot and then a little bit sweaty and I don't like that feeling so this way I feel like if I just need to warm my toes up a little bit more then I can wear socks and when I need to cool down take the socks off free my toes and oh one more thing the other reason I'm doing this OOTD is because I discovered that these lights let me put it on dim I left my other camera in the car. It's just a little too cold to go out and get it. These lights actually swivel more than I thought they did. Okay, wait, let me turn this off so you can see. I'll make this brighter. Okay, these lights actually swivel all the way. So um, I thought that they were kind of set the way they came out of the package, but that's not the case. So what I've done is I set the two top ones to be sort of at an angle toward my face, and then the next two are just straight across to hit me off, you know, on the body, and then the third one down is on a swivel, kind of like on a 30 degree downwards to get the rest of my outfit. And then the last two are completely down to the floor so that you can see my feet. And if I wanted to add more light to my feet, I could just swivel the last two completely down. I don't know if you can see the difference. If I do that, if I take this away, does it even <laughs> does it even make a difference if I take it away? I thought it made a difference. Well, let's see if I put them all down. Well, I mean, it makes a difference to me, maybe not onto camera, but I can see the difference. And voila, darling. Oh, and then also we had to go to a Sweet 16, and the theme was a masquerade party, and the masks were so cute, I'm not ready to throw them away. So I, I hung them over the corners of uh, the mirror to make it more Hollywood. Hollywood! Now we're just going to lay in bed together and open some mail and talk and chit-chat and all that good stuff. Welcome to my boudoir. Although you've been in here a few times before. <laughs> if this is your first time to my channel, I welcome you to subscribe. I'm doing Vlogmas all the way up until Christmas Day. And I invite you to also catch up on all my other Vlogmas. I want you guys to stay tuned because I have something exciting coming up for the last seven days of Vlogmas 2016. And I don't want you to miss out. Okay, so today's just going to be a really comfy day in bed. I'm going to 
open up some mail that I got with you. Um, I got a beauty fix box. After I open up some mail, then I'm probably going to wash and deep condition my hair and put a mask on for the rest of the night and just kind of chill at home, relax. Tomorrow I'm thinking about getting a pedicure because I didn't get a chance to get one when I did my manicure. Oh my goodness, and look at how good the manicure goes with my pajamas. Wait, hold on. How cool is this that it goes with my socks, right? The whole, is this the nail that has it? Yeah, the snowflakes and the snowflake socks. Uh-oh, we have company. Somebody's being nosy. Somebody's being so nosy. Yeah. Oh, really quickly also, what I wanted to show you. Remember I told you that I bought a a candle? Well, this is it. I think I... I forgot what I called it. The, the brand is called Modern Alchemy, and I picked up the scent Vanilla Almond. But can we talk about how beautiful this container is? And it reminds me of a larger version of the, the set of nest candles that I bought from Saks Fifth Avenue. So I picked this up from Nordstrom Rack and the original price says $25 and I got it for $10.97 which is a great price. Um, I believe I got this robe. I don't think I saved the tag. I wanted to save the tag for you guys. This robe was only uh, $29.97 and it's so comfortable. I really love it. Um, yeah, so it smells delish. Then what I also wanted to show you was, um, oh, these two things here. I had picked up some decorative baskets when I was at Michael's, but I didn't, I don't know, I don't know why I bought them. I'm not really too thrilled with them. So I picked these up. These are, uh, fake votive candles. They, um, I guess flameless tea lights, right? Like the box says. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I picked up a set of four. And they come with a battery. And I do have batteries to replace them. But look at how pretty this is. These are the votive holders. Joy to the world. And it's in this really pretty um, porcelain sprayed cup. What was this? This was um, $3.99 but there was a 50% off sale, so I got them for $2. And then the other cup that I picked up um, just says Merry Christmas, and I just, I think they're so cute. Look at these together. Aren't they cute? So I figured, okay, I wanted to put one on my nightstand and one on my boyfriend's nightstand, just so that we have like a nice little element of hints of Christmas in the bedroom as well. And the little votive candles. Hold on, I'm gonna put you on hold and see how they uh -oh. Uh-oh, somebody sees a plastic box. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it. No, not the flames. Not the flames, Mo. Plastic box is okay. I'm surprised. He usually grabs the plastic like a dog and then runs away with it so he can bite into it. Okay, so uh, let's light up these little candles. I think you just switch on the light. Ooh, I like. Oh, it changes color. Oh! <gasps> This is so cool. And then you just drop it in there and you have a nice little element of glowiness going on. Wow, I really love this. Yay. And then this one lit up red, throw it in there. Oh wow, this is just so pretty. Aw, I'm really getting in the mood now. And you guys know that I have this collaboration coming up with um, several YouTube ladies that are very well known on YouTube. And I hope that you guys will stick around. Um, not stick around. What am I saying? I hope you guys will tune in on Saturday the 17th and watch our collaboration. All right. Now let's get into opening the mail because that's all I really wanted to show you. Everything else has to be returned. First going to open this beauty fix because I I think I've had it for close to two weeks maybe, three weeks, I don't know. And I haven't opened it to see what's inside. So this box contains 
Let's see. Should I look at the cheat sheet? You know what? I'll, I'll go through the cheat sheet after I open. And wow, I love the subscription. Every time I think that I want to get rid of it, they wow me every single time. Okay, so this first one, ha <laughs> ha, gotta love it, right? It says, wow. And this is a kale cocktail biotonic to instantly strengthen fragile hair. Okay, very cool. What is this next thing? Um, DHC Velvet Skin Coat. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, this one is, ooh, Dermalogica Charcoal Rescue Mask. These things I love. Next thing is Caviar Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. Do I need volume? Actually, no, I used the heating iron to not get any volume. And where's the, oh, here's the cap. It always concerns me whenever, like, things come off in transit, but there's no spill, so, okay, that's interesting. Next thing is Glycotone Mild Cleanser, free acid value. I don't know what that means, free acid value. Uh, mild Oh, well, it's got glycolic acid to help remove dead surface skin, so that's good. Uh, the last thing, no, that's not the last thing. What is this? The Sensual Lip Satin by Kevin Aquan. Are you kidding me? Guys, if you do not have this subscription box, get it. This is, what do I pay a month? $21.95, $27.95, I forget. And uh, the things, even if you only like half the box, trust me, you've made out like a bandit. Okay, now this one is a nail polish. It's called Hold Me. I wish I had that other camera with me because it doesn't focus well. I mean, because this one doesn't focus well. This is peptide-infused strength... Okay, does not contain formaldehyde or toluene. I don't know what that means, but I know it's bad. Anyway, it's by a company called Dermilect. Um, this is a... I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to read the card. Leave your skin and strands. Oh, okay, so it's for hair and skin. And I guess it just adds a glow for the... Oh, maybe this will be nice to try for the holiday season. Hmm, okay. Um, the next thing is by Ren. Okay, I've heard really good things about this company, and I've even tried their samples. Did I buy something from them? I can't remember. But um, this is a Global Protection Day Cream. So this must have an SPF. Does it have SPF? Or does it just have anti-free anti radical repellents? <laughs> Am I even making sense to you guys? And whoa... Okay, do you see what I'm saying? Look at this. A nail clipper. And why are they calling it 24 karat? Okay, I have to read the card. 24 karat gold plated nail clipper. Are you kidding me? This gold plated nail clipper adds a dose of glitz to any day. Okay, well, whatever. It's It says it right here. FYI, it's... It's uh, gold-plated. I can't read through the camera. It's coated in genuine 24 karat gold. That's so crazy. Wow. Wow. Okay, this next thing is from, um, I bought some lashes from a company called Black Magic Lashes. Um, I really appreciate when they do things like write a handwritten card that, you know, expresses their gratitude. This is handwritten. This whole thing is handwritten. We hope that you love your Black Magic Lashes and they inspire some glam holiday looks. When life hands you lashes, slay. XOXO, heart black magic. Oh, that is so nice. I like little things like that. I told you, you guys know this about me already. I'm all about the presentation. Okay, and now look at this. They actually have like 
I don't know if it's a rubber, it's definitely not a wax. Okay, so it's some sort of like a, a, a stamped. Can you see this? It's, it's stamped to give it that look of, you know, old Roman times when they would send secret letters and, or, or official letters and have it stamped with the wax. Oh, that is so cool. I almost don't want to destroy it, but I have to get to my lashes. Ooh. This looks interesting. Look at this packaging. Okay, so... Oh my god! I didn't think they were this long! This is crazy! Okay, which one is this? This is... Yikes! By doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. Oh, I like this! Little quotes. Little quotes of inspiration. And the la- oh gosh, the lashes just fell right out of the case. Okay, um, th this is how the lashes come out. Like that. The name of these lashes, these are Lux Faux Mink and they're called Lady Killer. And this is what they look like. Um, I, <laughs> these are actually a little bit too, a little bit. These are actually extremely too long. I, I feel like they're kind of Elvira-ish, but I mean, if anything, I'll, I'll just wear them next time I do some sort of, you know, sit down video with you guys, like another makeup tutorial. Oh, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see me do um, a makeup tutorial using these Lady Killer lashes, uh, the inside says the oldest stories are written in the stars. Oh wow! Look at the back. The back is really cool packaging. Look at this. It's like a a crystal ball and um, the hands of who are the women that read the crystal balls? Leave that in the comments below because I don't I forget. A fortune teller. Is that what it is? They read the crystal balls? Gypsies? I forget. Okay, so I know I got two different styles. Okay, this one is a lot shorter. Let's see what this little message says here. An open mind is a beautiful mind. Wow, I like this. I just like this maybe probably for the quotations and the packaging. So silly. Okay, so this is the style of the next set that I picked out. A lot shorter. Thank goodness. Oh, but they don't come out as easy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. I think I just... <laughs> this, no, I didn't destroy it, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, this style is called... It's, again, it's another set of faux mink lashes, and it's called Mythic. So that's the shorter length. Mythic is the shorter length, and Lady Killer is the longer length. And... Like I said, th these seem a little bit more realistic for me to wear daily. Um, the other ones, yeah. I could probably do a nice makeup look with that, though. And what else did I get here? Oh, this is a book that I ordered. Okay. Oh, it's tiny. Well, I knew it was paperback. I forget why I bought this book. Five men in search of a mythical hero journey from Peru to Polynesia in this classic account of nautical adventure. All right, and the name of this book is called Contiki. Um, I can't really say that. I forget why I bought this. It it doesn't really classify under self help, but it's more like inspiration I think is what it this is why I bought this book for for inspiration oh wow look at this they're showing some actual some actual pictures here so I think this is based on true events and you know they chartered they recorded their journey so yeah, I wanted a book that I could just um, stick in my locker so that I had, um, oh, sorry about that, so that I had, oh, can you, can you see me? Can you see me? Hello, can you see me? Can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me now? 
I really wanted a book that I could bring with me to work because I want to give my eyes a rest. I'm always on the computer and my eyes get really fatigued from either a handheld device or just work that I have to do on the computer and fluorescent lights, you know, being in the hospital for 16 hours in a day and my eyes get really, really fatigued. I just wanted to give them a rest. I figured bringing a book to work and no computer screen in any form would rest my eyes and um, exercise my brain and exercise my eyes without that glare. I have an idea of what I want to do for tomorrow. So if all goes according to plan, I will have another surprise set up for you. But what I'm definitely doing tomorrow is getting a pedicure. And thanks for hanging out with me in bed today, guys. Uh, remember to subscribe and to like. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Give this video a thumbs up.